We're at a, at a moment right now when homegrown energy, like wind energy, is creating new jobs all across Iowa and all across the country. And guess what? Governor Romney said, let's end the tax credits for wind energy production. Let's get rid of them. He said that new sources of energy, like wind, are imaginary. His running mate calls them a fad. During a speech a few months ago, Governor Romney even explained his energy policy this way. Uh, I'm quoting here. You can't drive a car with a windmill on it. That's what he said about wind power. You can't drive a car with a windmill on it. Now, I, <laughs> I don't know if he's actually tried that. I know he's had other things on his car. But... But, it, but if he wants to learn something about wind, all he's got to do is pay attention to what you've been doing here in Iowa. If he saw what you've been doing, he'd see that there are places like Newton where a few years ago the Maytag plant closed down, jobs dried up, folks are now back to work manufacturing these enormous new towers and blades for some of the most sophisticated high-tech wind turbines on the planet. The wind industry now supports 7,000 jobs here in Iowa, 75,000 jobs across the country. These jobs aren't a fad. Uh, aren't a fad. These are good jobs, and they're a source of pride that we need to fight for. So I want to stop giving $4 billion in taxpayer subsidies that are going to oil companies that are making huge profits and have been subsidized for 100 years, and let's keep on investing in the new homegrown energy that's creating jobs right here in Iowa. That's a difference in this election. That's why I'm running for President of the United States of America.